Wasabi homies, it's your homegirl Natalie, and today I'll be showing you my most worn clothing of 2019. But before we get started, I just want to say that this video is. <laughs> this video is being sponsored by Skillshare, so yay, thank you! <laughs> if you don't know what Skillshare is, they are an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. There is so much to explore on there, there are so many things that you can create. Skillshare just really empowers you to accomplish your goals. They offer classes that are designed to fit your life, so you could learn a whole class within a short amount of time. That's what I've been normally doing like when I'm getting ready, I just put on a class. So the class that I took is called YouTube Success, Build an Authentic Channel That's Worth the Follow by Sorrel Amor, who is a YouTuber, videographer, and friend for Frafra and photographer. <laughs> First up, I absolutely love her channel. I remember watching her right as she was just blowing up. She's definitely helped me in how I take my own photos. And I absolutely love her videos. I love her personality. I love her smile. Jesus, oh my God. And just the message that comes with her channel. And I know I have a community here with you, but sometimes it's always good to kind of like sit down, check up on it. Yeah, that's why I was taking her class. And of course, Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people that click the link in the description box to explore your creativity. And then after that, it's gonna be around like $10 a month. All right, so now let's get into the video. We're gonna start with the obvious, this dress. <laughs> Oh my God, look what I did. Is anyone surprised by this? I have my amazing square neck slip dress from ASOS. This is my vacation dress. I want to look grown dress. I have nothing to wear dress. The moment that I run out of photos with this dress on, like... Will be the end of days. <laughs> so I think what makes this dress so amazing is the high neckline, but the low cut on the back, not super low. So it's a little bit baby conservative, but then you also have that like slit on the side of the dress that makes it look like, ooh, fun and flirty and cute. If I want, I could put a belt and cinch it and then make it a little bit more like, you know, look at my body. But if I don't want to do that, you know, when I'm eating or something, then I could just let it like chill out and do its thing and it gives me enough space so I could eat all... <laughs> Excuse me. So I can eat anything that I want and not feel constrained, constricted. Now we get to bottoms. I started off 2018 with maybe like two or three pairs of jeans and now I currently have... I never realized how jeans were such an essential part of a wardrobe, how versatile they were. You know, dress them up, dress them down, dress them sideways, bring them around town. But here are my top three favorite ones. Yes, three, because I couldn't just pick one. Nah. Of course, they're all from GU because I love GU. Please sponsor me. They're all high-waisted. High-waisted anything is most flattering on kind of like all body types. I mean, there are some exceptions here and there, but for the most part, I feel like it always looks good on women. So. Yeah. First up is my super duper duper wide leg jeans. Yo, these are like some 90s realness, big and so much fun to wear. The color is a really nice cool blue. Yep, yeah, it looks good. I like wearing them. I feel funky and fresh. Yeah, okay, moving on. Now, if those gave me some funky 90 vibes, to get real funky brings me to the first pair of black jeans. Just flared right at the bottom. They frame my legs really nicely. Still gave me that funky flare 70s type of feel. Just love them so much. I remember when I first got them, I just wanted to wear these all the time. Like every single day. Anytime I went out, I wanted to just wear them. And I know my friends are used to... <laughs> Used to seeing me in like a, some type of uniform because if I like something, I will wear the shit out of it. So I definitely was trying to do that with these, but I had to kind of stop myself. And lastly, now we're getting to a straight leg jean. I really love wide legs. I really love like big old like shapes on my body, but sometimes I gotta also remind myself, it's nice to kind of show off your curves, show off that body line, well, them leg line. What, them calf muscles, mm, them thighs? Yeah, it's, sometimes it's nice to just show off what you've been working on and I definitely have been working working on my legs. I mean, currently not right now because like my whole body is full with papa, queso y pan right now, but that's okay because we're just going to get back into it. You know, vacation took its toll. <laughs> that's okay because I was on vacation, you know what I'm saying? And I especially love the color of nice faded blue is really perfect for the summertime. I definitely wore these a lot during that time and yeah. Yay! Speaking of something that I absolutely gravitated towards, this freaking skirt. I think we can all agree it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's amazing. My sister was like, oh, you know, I have a bunch of clothes that I don't want. You want to look at them and see if you like any of them? When she showed me this, I was like, oh, hell yeah. This skirt just made me feel like dancing marinera. Really great length for me. It's so much fun to wear. Stretch band over here, again, I could eat whatever I'd like to because the pattern here is so busy. That food baby, Oh, no one gonna know. Nobody gonna know. Get a lot of compliments on this on my videos. Unfortunately, there is no tag on here. And I'm pretty sure my sister probably thrifted this. So yeah, just go to your local thrift shop and 
pray to the thrift gods that you find a gem. We have this brown um, trumpet sleeve. No, wide sleeve, trumpet sleeve. Bell sleeve, there we go, trumpet. Trumpet skirt, bell sleeves, okay. <laughs> and this has easily become one of my most worn pieces. I do love this color. And also it shows off my curves really well, which I know I'm not necessarily someone for showing off a whole lot of like tight stuff, but this sweater is an exception. I really like wearing it and it makes my boobs look good. So yeah. We're gonna keep on with the neutrals and here is probably my most worn shirt ever. Initially when I saw this, it reminded me of very like interview with a vampire. It feels so luscious and it looks very luxurious. Like I've shown you in my styling tips video, wear like a normal button up, you could tie it up, you could do so many things with it and especially because of the color, you could put it with any little thing and it, it'll just elevate it that much more. If I'm, I think definitely everyone should have like one go-to button up shirt in their wardrobe, just solely on the fact of how versatile it is. My mom has this thing that she's like, yeah, when you like something, that becomes like your chicle. It's like, it's just stuck to you like gum. I first got this, I was wearing this all the time and I still wear it all the time. I just feel very comfortable in it and it kind of feels a little bit like a security blanket. If I'm unsure of what I want to wear, I just wear this and I know I'm gonna look good. Shoot. Speaking of shirts that I wear a lot, obviously that's what this video is about, but the next one are these, uh, I guess I like kind of like peasant shirts. I get a lot of messages on these. I also have my Red Hearts one, but the shoulder is like, fucked up so I need to go fix that. But anyways, all of these like little shirt, these little pattern shirts I always get from a market in on the Iwa Women's University area. There's a really nice little like shopping area. I get a lot of these cute little trendy shirts, but unfortunately like they don't have online stores and because it's very much so trendy stuff, it's very seasonal. I'm so happy that the whole like peasant shirt style like came into style because I'm someone that loves a square neck. One thing with these, I'm like something that is just like a full solid color. I guess like it's not as noticeable when you wear them a lot. Pair it with a bunch of different things so it doesn't look like you're wearing the same thing. I feel like this is definitely a lot more noticeable. Wearing something with a pattern, you know, you gotta tell like, girl, didn't you wear that like already like for two days. Every time I wanted to go, I just wanted to wear one of these shirts because I think it's very cute, it's very fun, it's very flirty. And the last shirt I have is actually a t-shirt and this poor little t-shirt has seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the nasty, the sweaty, and earth thing, but it's still in one piece. This is a Cambodia little crop t-shirt. Who would have thought this simple little crop shirt would be my savior? If you guys saw my work outfits video and like my styling tips video, you know that I wear this a lot, especially during summer time. If I want to wear like a dress but I don't want to show off like too much or I'm not trying to wear the strapless bra, then I could just put this on top and I could wear a regular bra. My dress doesn't look as scandalous and so now I can wear it at work. So I have yet to find a good cropped t-shirt like this. Unfortunately, because I'm wearing it so much, it's starting to come apart. <laughs> but please just, just stay together for like one more summer. You're gonna stay strong, man. You're gonna stay strong. So next up are three sweaters that are basically in rotation come winter time because I literally only ever wear these. These are sweaters that my mom made. Gracias, mami, por tejer estos. <laughs> Chompitas porque me encantan. Like winter time, yeah, I'm always in these sweaters and like I'm in these sweaters so freaking much that it's starting to get a little bit warmer. That's when I'll switch into like a, you know, just a regular shirt or whatever every single time. My coworkers are like, Natalie, I think you lost weight. And I was like, no man, I, you're just seeing me without a sweater for the first time in months. Not much really else to say. Thank you, Ma, for making such a staple in my wardrobe. I don't know about you, but back in university, I had a huge thing for blazers. Literally all my outfits always had a blazer on it. That was like the cherry on top with my outfits. And then after university, I just stopped wearing blazers altogether. I don't know, I didn't really like them that much anymore or maybe I just didn't have the chance to wear them out as much. When the whole like big oversized blazer came into trend and I saw that I was like, <gasps> blazer? Is it time to reunite? I saw this guy at Venturi for just 15 bucks. I tried it on and I was like, oh, I think this definitely was a really good choice, a smart choice in, in buying because I normally, again, I always buy a lot of colorful things, but in your wardrobe, you always need some really good essentials and this is definitely one of them. What's great about blazers like this is that it can make an outfit that could be otherwise very feminine look a little bit more masculine and I think that's really fun. Especially love wearing this like with just like little crop tops or like a tube top or something. I think it looks really cool. And even though one, my ass has a fucking short ass neck. <laughs> 
And two, my shoulders are a little bit more wide. I'm still okay with wearing an oversized blazer. All that you really need to look out for is the right one. When you put it on, you're gonna know. So ladies, if you got a short neck, if you got wide shoulders, embrace it. And there's something in my eye. And wear an even more oversized blazer on top of that. Like, you know, I might as well just showcase them. So. Yeah. If this dress is my vacation dress, this is my vacation jacket. First of all, the pocket. You could put so much stuff in there. I have to take photos and things like that, but carrying and lugging everything around, like in my backpack and having to go in for the switch of lens, and it's just so much. Now, nah, homie, no problem. Let me put this up in my big old packet. In terms of just functionality, I think like a jean jacket is an absolute freaking must. Yay. Next up is something that maybe you guys haven't seen me wear a lot. This Ryder halter from Wildfire, also my sister's Intimates line. I absolutely love wearing this just around the house. I actually have been wanting to make like a video on like how to style bralettes. There's a bunch of different ways that you can wear it. It doesn't have to be worn as how you would normally just wear like a bralette. I absolutely love all of this like intricacy that's happening here. I really like that there's a panel that still kind of holds me. And I think that's the most important for a girl that's a little bit more busty. Pattern is so funky. So in terms of sizing, uh, currently right now, it's only small and small medium. However, my 32E fits in these, just to give you guys a reference. All of these bralettes are handmade, yo. So if you guys are into something like that, please, please go check out Wildfire. Now we get into shoes, and the moment I saw these online, I was like, ooh. I know you're gonna be mine. I know you're gonna be mine. Why waste your time? <laughs> Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Look at these beauties. And I just got these maybe like in sometime November, but bro, I just wanna wear these all the freaking time because they're so freaking comfortable. These are from Japan. They're from a brand called Ungrid. Fortunately, these are sold out. <laughs> Sorry. I got a large because I thought, okay, it's gonna be a Japanese brand. Japanese people have very small, little, narrow feet, and my wide ass feet were not gonna fit in that. Tried these on, and my foot just went like, oh, 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 these are wide enough for my wide ass feet. I should have probably gotten a medium, even though I couldn't because it was definitely sold out. I still love to wear these, um, but I definitely have to wear them with thick socks. There's a moment that I was desperately looking for white boots, but I could never seem to find ones that would fit me or a style that I would like. But then these beautiful white boots came into my life. These are wide, made for wide feet, meaning that my big old duck feet can go into them without having to do the whole process of breaking them in. The heel height scared me at first because I was like, is this too high? You're like, but turns out when you're not trying to be one of Cinderella's stepsisters and slip your foot into a small ass slipper, your foot can actually withstand this heel height and be comfortable. Who would have thought? Also, the design of this is so funky. It definitely gives me like retro, like space girl vibes of like the 60s. Introducing the essential summer heel, a nude mule. I feel so bad for these guys because prior to leaving to Peru this past like January, these were brand new and now they fucked up. <laughs> these are the perfect things to wear one because it definitely elongates your legs without having to sacrifice your actual foot comfort and wear something higher. It just, shoo. And these are definitely still comfortable that I could wear these for a whole day. My feet will still be good. I mean, clearly I've worn them for days because yeah, they janked up. I'm I'm so sorry. I asked my mom would say, como caminas como una chancha. Like, what are you doing that your, your shoes are always so messed up? And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> And for our last pair of shoes, we're going back to basics, a perfect black booty. These are also wide. All these wide boots are always from ASOS. God, that's such a game changer, just knowing that your foot doesn't have to go through the process of breaking them in. Like, I gotta break them in, and then I gotta break them in even more. I have to give it even extra space to fit in my wide as foot. Like, the moment that I had them, I just slipped in, and I was like, oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh damn, my foot is comfortable. New feeling. <laughs> I am a size seven, but I'm only a size seven really because a size six cannot fit in <laughs> this this width, you know what I'm saying? So I always have to go a size up. So when I initially bought them, I bought a size seven. It turns out a size seven was a little bit too big. I was like, oh, oh snap. And I actually am a size six, but a lot of, you know, shoes don't come in wide varieties. So wide varieties, ha ha ha. And yeah, these are just the perfect little black booty. I, I also wore these on vacation and, and like, damn. Vacation just like, I always fuck up my, my shoes because you know you do a lot of walking they're just like definitely my little go-to booty last little thing our hats yay first let's start with the not obvious one this is my selena newsboy cap Oh wait, I have oh, Anyways, I, what I really liked about it is that it does help in keeping my face covered during the winter time. It helps to protect your face from these harsh as winds. And these winds in Korea, they don't play. They be slapping you upside the head. Also, it just looks super cute. Last little dudes. Obviously, my freaking bow. 
I feel like my name, my brand is synonymous with berets. I wear these so much. It's just the best way of adding in that little pop of color. This cobalt blue, look how electric it is. This cute little lilac one, look how girly and feminine it is. Nice burnt orange, brown. It's a really good neutral. I don't think I need to talk about berets that much because you already know how much I love them. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Hope this video finds you well. Hope you are safe. Good luck on everything and anything, whether that is an interview, asking out friends. Now you wanna be a little bit better than friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. He <laughs> he